The Azores anticyclone determines the direction of the wind in the islands by creating a constant northeasterly airflow. This becomes the trade winds blowing across the Atlantic Ocean from Europe towards the Caribbean. Some people say that trade winds are actually born in the Canary Islands and some call this the wind of the Canary Islands. There are a whole series of northerly facing flying sites that offer good coastal soaring conditions in this northerly trade wind. These are Silver Bridge, Kilometer 13, Los Giles, Los Giles Norte and Las Coloradas. These takeoffs receive a very clean wind with little turbulence, which makes it possible to fly even in strong winds. The orientation, size and shape of these mountains enable the wind to move upwards with minimal turbulence, allowing pilots to sky out all day long. Such conditions are ideal for beginner flights, with low altitude takeoffs and broad landings that make it easy in stable air. Anticyclones or high pressure centers are found between subtropical regions and the cooler areas of the planet. The Azores anticyclone usually spreads throughout the North Atlantic and focuses on the Canary Islands. It affects the Canary Islands for most of the year, though it withdraws occasionally between autumn and spring. In winter, it is more inconsistent and moves from north to south depending on the position of the Atlantic Depression. At times when there is high pressure all over the ocean, it usually moves to the north of the islands and the other way around in summer. The high pressure is rarely away for more than a week. I've just been beginning to fly. Um, so this is uh, a new experience for me, uh, a little scary, but um, very exciting. Any time throughout the year you can find the perfect moment to take a course of any level, as the island offers adequate infrastructure, as well as a mild and predictable climate. Learning to fly in a place like this is not complicated. People can take advantage of the good weather and start with the basics before the first flight. We should feel and create those first movements to gain confidence and comfort before being in the air. approaches, so does the anticyclone, which may be placed on the islands or close to them. This causes the trade wind regime to decrease and disappear. In Gran Canary, this situation allows us to fly on the leeward side or in the higher areas. The intensity of the trade winds varies in relation to the shift of the Azores anticyclone throughout the year. When the distance between the centre of the anticyclone and the Canary Islands is shortened, the pressure gradient usually increases with the isobars being closer together, so the intensity of the trade winds also increases considerably. In winter, the situation is more changeable more than in summer. The centre of the anticyclone often moves to the north and away from the Canary Islands, thereby leaving the islands to the south of the high pressure. In this case, a wind regime 
with east to southeast component appears awakening the action of the trade winds, reducing cloudiness and even dragging suspended dust particles from the Sahara. This is due to the fact that the air mass is less humid because of the African influence and the short distance travelled in contact with the sea. When the wind blows from the east, we head to La Laja. Generally, anchored boats help us to identify the wind direction, unless the sea current and waves are too strong. These flying days are usually hot the landing is on the beach. On the other hand, the winds are more intermittent in direction and intensity due to the anticyclone oscillation. In summer, the anticyclone moves to the northwest of the Canary Islands in the Azores, generating more intense trade winds. This also lifts up a sea of clouds formed by the characteristic stratocumulus, which is massively common in the northern slopes of the archipelago. When the anticyclone withdraws, so does the daily inversion layer, enabling flights of higher altitude. The situation is more unstable and development clouds may appear at noon, but the sea of clouds disappears, so the conditions are better for cross-country flights. Mm -hmm.